everyone and welcome to another vlog. Today is Monday, it is currently like 7.05 or something like that. I'm on my way to a core power class I'm taking from the Mockingbird station. Today guys, I now use the class pass. I'm actually working with them on like some Instagram stuff, but I have like a lot of credits for the month. So now I can take whatever studio class that I wanna take. Anyways, I'm super excited. I'm I'm going with a friend that I got copy with last week. I literally have like no idea where I'm going right now, but it's fine. Today is not the most exciting day during the day. I have to go to the DMV with my mom. I need to get a new social. I need to get new like everything. Guys, I really lucked out because my mom actually needs to go to the DMV. So she invited me. It's not like I'm bringing my mom to the DMV with me, I wish. Um, but it's not going to be as bad, you know, because my mom will be there. So hopefully it doesn't take too long. But anyways, I'm on my way to Core Power. I'm taking a school class. I'm really excited and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, I just got out of Core Power. I took from the Mockingbird location, the 730 Sculpt. Um, but I'm listening to a podcast. I'm going to go home, shower, and get ready for the day. I am actually dead after that workout, guys. It's really freaking hard. Okay, guys. So it is currently at 925. Um, I'm about to head out. I'm going to go read and get some coffee at Starbucks. This is kind of messed up. My hair is completely wet, but... I'm just gonna let it air dry and if I end up wanting to curl it, I'll just do that at my mom's house today. But, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. <laughs> These jeans are too big, but they're from Revolve Girlfriend Denim. But I still like love the look of them. I think they're super cute. I wish that they just fit my waist like better because you can see like it's definitely not great. But I tucked this in. So this is my like American Eagle crew neck that I'm obsessed with. It's the softest one I own. It is so freaking comfortable. I want more. My normal, just like oversized Boohoo leather jacket, um, Air Force Ones, and then my little Balenciaga, um, like crossbody bag, fanny bag. My hair is still wet. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. I keep doing this, but I'm just genuinely so proud. Like, wow. It's all because of this IKEA mirror picture. Also, I don't know why. It's normally. Okay, I just fixed it. It looks super yellow on camera. It's very cool toned in here, but ah, this has really just changed my life. My egg bite saga continues. I actually didn't go to Starbucks really at all last week, but, so I'm proud of myself, kind of. But I'm trying the egg, ham, cheddar, pepper egg bites. I always get the egg white egg bites or I'll get the bacon ones. So today I got three shots over ice with toffee nut syrup and coconut milk. This is my current favorite drink. Copied it from my best friend, Maddie. Oh, horrible. All right guys, I made it to um, my hometown. I don't know what is wrong with me today, but like that coffee was just not enough and it was three shots of espresso. So now I'm a little bit concerned for myself. Also, out of the thousands of lip products that I have, all of my chapsticks have gone away. Oh, <laughs> found it. Okay, so my mother and now my grandma and I are all going to the DMVs. So I'm gonna like hang out with my little brother later and just do some stuff. I just keep thinking about all the work I need to do tomorrow. Like literally my to-do list that I've made just like Thinking of random things is really through the roof right now. Guys, it is now like 8 p.m. exactly. I'm back home. Oh my gosh, guys. Today was really something else. So, I went to McKinney to go to the DMV. My grandmother, my mom, and I all had to go. My grandma literally just wanted to go to get a new photo on her ID. Unbelievable. <laughs> really funny. But, um, we couldn't go. I still have to go back. DMVs in Texas, honestly, like in Dallas especially, they're so... So bad. I seem to know who made the DMV the least efficient place possible. Like so bad. Anyways, like we got there, it was just such a whole thing. Whatever. So I ended up waiting in McKinney so I can hang out with my little brother tonight. I ended up moving all my bills to like auto pay, just doing a bunch of like tasks that I just don't want to do, like adult tasks that sounded awful. That was like the least of it. Um I oh I booked my flight for LA in April, tonight I need to buy my Coachella VIP ticket and then also I need to um, buy new podcast equipment. Today is an expensive day, just a very adult day. And we are home now, which means that we can watch Nashville. I am so obsessed with Nashville, guys. I started it like last week with Quentin and like I'm way further ahead now. I just have to keep updating him. I think I'm like season two something, I'll see you tonight. But oh my gosh, guys, the show is so freaking good. I've really just been into my whole Netflix thing. But something very exciting came today. My pots and pans set, finally. These were supposed to arrive like well over a week ago, but my pots and pans set are finally here so I can eat something drunk. Also, if you guys watched last week's Week in My Life vlog, you guys would know how I'm obsessed with this sauce to put on brie for cheese boards or just in general like as a dip. It's just a raspberry chipotle sauce. It is amazing. Typically, like more true. 
traditionally you just put it on cream cheese, but I have this brie cream cheese that um, I get at Target, which I never go to Target and I need to go back for it. But yeah, I'm really excited because my mom gave me like a really big one of it and it's just amazing. Also, I got a Dermaplane. This is just from Amazon. It had really good reviews. Um, and yeah, from what I saw on blogs and stuff, it seemed good for your skin. I know that Dermaplaning is good for your skin. I just mean this one exactly. Here are my pots and pans. Very, very exciting stuff, guys. I'm just going to put these away for now. I'm going to wash them all, but not right now. I just really don't feel like it, but it's just so nice to actually have something to cook with. I also just realized that I think I left my pink hydro flask, which I've been drinking nonstop out of, in my core power class. We're at core power, so that sucks, but I wanted a white one anyways, and I wouldn't have spent another whatever $40 on one. But I lost it, so now I have to get the white one, and then I'll use the white one even more because it's so stupid, but it's cuter. Like, literally, I hate myself for that. So. Just realized that I don't have a scrunchie up here, so that's not the most ideal thing. But like I said, I'm going to try out this Flawless Dermaplane Glow. I've been seeing Dermaplane just stuff on Instagram stories recently, and so I wanted to try it out myself. It comes with six replacement heads. I'll have this link down below. This is what it has. There's a battery your actual dermaplane, and then six heads. Apparently there's like a red light as well. Ooh. Okay, so it's now on, and then it just says press on button to illuminate area, hold skin tight, and gently skim head across skin with short feathery strokes. Do not apply pressure. After use, let skin rest for several hours. So don't put like a moisturizer or cream on or anything yet. I think you're supposed to do it this way. Okay, so update, this side of my face for sure feels a lot more bare and you can definitely feel the hair here. So it definitely feels like a super, super bare in comparison. Update, so basically it just exfoliates and removes hair. My hair on my face is definitely gone, which is just supposed to leave my skin with a nice glow. So yeah, I'm really excited. We will see about this in the morning, but I'm not going to end up sleeping with like a moisturizer on because I'm going to be in bed before I could put something on my face. I'm like a moisturizer fanatic. I literally never leave my skin just dry. Also, my body is so much tanner than my face right now and it's just really bothering me. Uh, guys, are you just Miss Coco? She's just so funny. Um, okay, so update on my room. One of my night is done. The other one is not done. My mom has it at her house actually. Coco just wants attention right now. As you guys know, the dresser is a no-go. This one had so many problems. Wayfair sent me another one, and I'm just gonna hire someone and see if, like, hopefully that one works. It was just honestly, like, built so terribly. Like, everything, I mean, you guys have to have seen it before, but it was just rough. Like, everything fell out. You couldn't even do anything. It really, really was not my mom. It was just, like, the thing, actually, you touched it, it fell apart. Which is really unfortunate because it's like the same as those nightstands and those nightstands are actually really awesome. So, yeah, um, I did get my new dresser. It arrived today, so I'm going to hire someone hopefully either tomorrow or Wednesday to set that up. I'm just in no rush for some reason in my room. Um, my mattress isn't here yet. I'm doing a deal, so I'm just kind of waiting. I might get risers for my bed because this just feels like a little bit low as of right now, but I guess we'll see. All right, guys, I'm ordering right now some podcast equipment for home. I know this is expensive, but I went from recording in a studio, so the quality of my podcast audio is just a lot better than the quality of my audio on my YouTube videos and stuff, um, especially my YouTube videos. My audio is not great, but this is what I got. I would, if you guys are starting off, one of the, my, I'll show you guys actually, one of these mics is like totally great. It's such a great mic. Um, I've been recording a few intros on this. It just like pales in comparison to like the studio setup. So because most of mine are recorded in a studio, um, when I do intros and stuff, it just sounds bad. So anyways, invest in your business. I want to show you guys what I'm getting though for any of you guys who might be interested. So I'm just getting a new memory card. I need some just cables to connect. I'm getting three of these mics and each mic is um, 227 so it's a little bit more expensive. But this audio is just supposed to be like really, really great. And then I'm getting the Zoom H6 because you can plug in um, four different microphones at a time. I'm only getting three though. Yeah, so this is what I'm picking up tonight. It's kind of painful, not gonna lie, but I will be glad that I have this stuff, especially because I start recording remote like very soon, so I need to have it. 
Good morning guys, so it is 7 a.m. Um, the lighting in here is funny. So I sadly don't have my hydro flask, so I have to go buy water at my class. I'm taking solid core this morning, which is just reformer Pilates. It looks the coolest on mine though, because there's like blue light and like a good vibe to it. Update on my skin, I now have moisturizer on. I don't know if you guys can tell, just because of my skin is pale, it's super, super dull. Um, I think it honestly definitely is glowing more than it normally would be. Um, yeah, this is my skin now. It definitely feels a lot softer and like really really smooth I think it's definitely like glowing naturally a little bit more I don't think it's like this crazy big difference or change But again when my hair or again when my skin is pale It's like a lot more dull. That's why I like to keep it darker and self tan my face because it actually has life to it um, It's just like really really dull when it's pale so I haven't done reformer Pilates in a second, so this should be interesting. It's really hard. Okay, so this is Knox Henderson area um, for Dallas people. I'm trying solid core right there, and I've done Rise Nation in LA. Rise Nation, if you guys didn't know, is it's like a rock climbing 30 minute class, so it's a little bit more intensive. Um, it's hard, but I. It's hard, it's a good class, but I just feel weird only working out 30 minutes for some reason. Anyways, that was not the point of this clip. Look guys, they literally have a neon Texas state sign. That is so funny. Okay, so I've been listening to this podcast. A lot of you guys ask for podcast recommendations and this is my current fave, the So Money Podcast. It's really good. Um, I've been learning a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna go and take Pilates. I'm really excited. I hope I really like this because it looks really cool. And I don't know, I'm just excited for it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'll let you guys know how I like it after. So that's so annoying. Um, I'm out of class. It was really tough. Like, um, I really liked it. It's cool. As far as all the classes I've taken in Dallas so far, solid core is definitely my favorite because I feel like so many classes that I've taken, the playlists have been so bad. So, um, that's really my main thing, but also this one has lights and it's like a really good atmosphere And for me if I'm doing a really hard workout, I don't want it to be just completely light out like a li like Just completely lit. I want it to have like some sort of cool vibe So it's like an escape. Does that make sense slash? I think it distracts me Update on my skin glowing with the dermaplane when I got out this morning and I was actually looking at my skin in the natural daylight it made the biggest difference. Like, my skin actually is glowing. Um, I just really need to self-tan. So, I'm going to post my little workout Instagram story. And then, get on with my day, guys. Like, do you see this with my skin? Like, this is post-workout, and it's just glowing more. It's very bright, but... Okay, this thing worked. I'll link it down below. I'm a big fan. This is how fast Amazon is, guys. So, I have my three cables already here. And then, the, like, zoom part of it. So, basically you connect the microphones to this and this is where the memory card goes and that's how you record and stuff so yeah i got this my mics are supposed to come i think still today maybe tomorrow but i'm hoping that i can record this week's intro on this stuff i'm gonna have to try this out but i'm excited because now i can start actually recording actual episodes here if i like decide i want to have someone on <laughs> Okay, for those of you who ask what I do in my devos, this is going to be like a really, really quick 30 second um, little clip. But currently I have two morning devos just because I normally have been doing the new morning mercies. And then also on She Reads Truth, I got another one that is just, oh my gosh, my plans, the Psalms of Rest. So I'll show you like this is how, literally it's one page. And that's it. So I read that on my iPad. And then, guys, this website is so unbelievably outdated. But Life Journal, like online devotions, this is what all of us at my old school used to do. Okay, so you click here to read devotions, and it'll give you some from old, some from the New Testament. And it's really easy. You just read it, and then you can do soap if you guys want. So you read this passage, you find one that stands out to you, and then you do soap. So S is scripture, O is observation, so what you observe from it, A is application, how you apply it to your life, P is prayer. So yeah, then I just like have been doing reading. I've actually been using this She Reads Truth Bible as of lately. I've had it for a long time, but it's just so big, so I like never carry it with me. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. And then I normally will just like take notes out of here. I feel so much better when I start my day off doing this, like even if it's just a 30 minute thing. I would love to spend two to three hours in the morning, honestly, I love doing this. 
but I make my coffee and this is what I do. So that's my quick little morning Devo routine. This Bible, by the way, I get asked about this Bible all the time. It's the Hillsong Color Sisterhood Bible. I got mine on Amazon. I know it's a lot harder to find this Bible now, but I'll link down below a few that I like um, and that I've gone through and stuff. But yeah, if you guys are like new to any of this, or you guys want to check it out. It's super easy. I have an entire video on this as well, but also comment down below because I know there's a lot of other people who can like help you out or like join the Facebook group, you know, and that's what we're doing. But my coffee is brewing currently. Also, this Keurig is so cheap. So if you guys want this, I'll also have it down below. Oh, and then I'm just putting on a loop for music. So I'm just doing an upper room, like spontaneous loop because these are like 40 minutes. So it's really easy to just have playing on in the background. I also like seeing it on the screen and I like turn it down a little bit, but upper room's also like literally 15 minutes from my house. So very cool. Update on this oat milk. I actually have really been liking it. I also made some avocado toast on some gluten-free bread. This is my morning setup. I'm gonna go charge my vlog camera, but I'll talk to you guys after. All right guys, so I finished my morning reading. I did like an hour. It was a great time, seriously the best. But now I'm going to start working and get into some things I need to do. I don't really have any editing currently, which is actually nice. Um, but I have some stuff on my to-do list and I'm gonna get some more stuff done. So I'm gonna get started on that. Um, I also really need to go to Sephora today and I keep putting that off like I need self tanner really bad But we'll see if I get there I also really want to go to the Reformation showroom because there is one in Dallas and I've never been to one at all I mean, there's one in LA, but it looks so cute And I just got my Coachella stuff last night and I think I have one outfit that I know I want to wear Everyone's crazy about their Coachella outfits for the rest of them, I just want to get like really pretty cute dresses and wear sneakers and have it be like super casual because like I don't really care. And I feel like when people overdo Coachella looks, I'm like not into it as much. Like that's my personal vibe. All right, guys, I just made lunch. It does not look good. I heated up leftovers. So this um, cauliflower actually just has a really dark seasoning on it. It looks so much darker on camera. And a buffalo sauce. And then I just heated up some salmon from last night. I'm just trying to get rid of things. I need to go grocery shopping. The past few hours... I've been getting so much stuff done. I'm on a roll. Um, in about an hour, I'm going to head out and run some errands, and then I'll come back and then end up really getting ready and doing more work. But I'm feeling really great. Um, I mentioned before how I'm, like, really getting on top of my finances. It's actually ridiculous how I just haven't been before. And so I went through, and I got all my write-offs and everything together for taxes and then for this year as well. So I'm just so organized. But I really need someone, honestly, to just, like, make my Google Sheets actually look good and actually function like I make the sheet and it works but I just don't feel like it's actually good does that make any sense I don't know do that is what I've been doing but I am gonna go to Sephora and I'm gonna pick up some new self tanner um and I don't even know I have like lists for everything I'm making my grocery list too because oh I need the Becca primer I'm out of that but yeah I need to like put shoes on and put a jacket on and more lip balm and then I'll be out the door but I'm gonna eat this do about an hour or more worth of work and then go anyways it's just crazy when i actually take time to read and stuff in the morning like if i do that even though it takes up an hour of my day i'm so much more focused and zoned in to get work done like the amount of stuff i've gotten done i've just been way more efficient because i'm so focused because i took that time like it's just the best thing ever so that is what I've been working on Sephora. Oh, also I found a bag place in Highland Park Village that hopefully can fix the zipper on my bag. We'll see. I'm gonna take it there and see what they can do. All right, guys, I've changed. It is almost, please so pause. It's almost 1.30. Um, I just put a little CC cream on. I'm gonna go run some errands. I need to get, I need to take my bag in to hopefully get a zipper put on it. Um, this has been a long time coming, like over a month. Actually, just a month. That's not that bad for me. I normally procrastinate things like that more. Second thing I need to do is go to Sephora and get some self tanner and then third thing I need to go to Trader Joe's I'm just wearing some really cozy Aaron clothes. I am so happy with how much I got done I'm back at Highland Park Village and I just realized one I did not realize that we had a Lilabo Two, there's a juice bar here now, which is amazing, but I'm gonna go into Dino's, I believe. This is supposed to be the best for like bag repairs. This whole shopping center is really high um high end so it makes sense but it's basically like the nicest but i'm so excited for the juice bar guys this is what i'm the most pumped for starbucks is here i really need an espresso 
but an espresso shot but i don't know what i'm gonna do if you guys are new here um i got this bag which i'm obsessed with it's like my favorite bag i've ever purchased um actually fun fact i got it so cheap because i got it at arizona like nordstrom last last call or whatever they have like the bag originally is well okay i don't want to say i got it so so cheap but i got a really good deal on it in comparison this bag originally if you guys don't like designer bags or anything totally get it like totally understand but this bag it was originally like 1800 and i got it for 600 something which obviously i know is still a lot of money um i'm someone who likes to invest in pieces which is fine but i'm just saying like that's how good of a deal i got on it in comparison but there was no zipper so i need to get a zipper put on it and i'm gonna go see what they can do all right guys my bag now has a zipper this makes my life so much easier so i went to dino's took them like literally three minutes it was so quick they were so nice and it was like 11 dollars. like it was so fast i can't get over it guys i'm seriously so excited for this zipper <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing all right so i made it to uptown it's super cute um west village is like the shopping center there's a lot of workouts and juice bars and restaurants and shops and stuff this is kind of on the outside but they have my favorite Sephora. I don't even know why I love this Sephora so much more than all the other ones. That juice place actually is really good as well. But it's just so much prettier. See, just so much cuter. I'm gonna get my favorite self tanner, Isle of Paradise in medium, it's the best one. I'm gonna get a new hair oil and a new setting powder. You'll see how I like these. I love hair oils from Way, the Way hair oil, but I wanna try the Olaplex as well. But I'm a big fan. So I picked up three things. Seriously, I just love it over here. It's so cute. But I got a self tanner, hair oil, and then a primer. No, not a primer. I need a primer. The primer I wanted wasn't there. The um, translucent setting powder. I need one from Milk, which I'm really excited for. I know that I'm not the only one when I say that Taylor Swift just like puts you in a mood. It's the perfect at home, like, you want to feel cozy, but I don't even know. It just reminds me of a high school. I don't know what it is, but Taylor Swift is just, I don't know. I know that someone has to agree with me. Please comment down below. I know there's a lot of Taylor Swift haters out there, but I love Taylor Swift, so I don't care. All right, guys, made it home. I have my groceries here. Not going to show you a grocery haul because I feel like they just get repetitive, but let me know. If you guys like seeing them, even if they're kind of repetitive, I don't know. I got my Sephora stuff, which I'll haul for you guys in a second. And then I have a package from the container store. Guys, actually, I came home on Saturday to a gift card from them that they sent me, which was so kind of them. And then I immediately made an order because I love the container store and I need a, so much stuff for my house. Like, let me show you guys really quick. Like, this office, or this room, not office right here, it's just, like, really unorganized. I mean, it looks way messier than it is. It's just two pillows and that fell over. But, like... This needs to be my pantry, so I need to get it built out, but I need the container store, basically. I, my dream collab video right now would be, like, redoing my pantry and kitchen with the container store. <laughs> that is actually my dream because it would be so beautiful, and I also think I know you guys would love to see it. So, that's what I want to do. And then I have my last package from CB2. Pretty much this entire house is CB2. Those acrylic candle holders that I have, I have one more left. And then I can actually get candles for them for the centerpiece on my table. Very exciting stuff. Okay, the one thing that I will haul from this Trader Joe's haul is, or not haul, grocery trip is this Green Goddess salad dressing. So many of you guys were saying in the Facebook group that you love this and you put this on everything. So if you guys use this, please comment down below and tell me what you put it on. I don't make a ton of salads, so I know this is a salad dressing, but people are saying they put it on like legit everything. So please let me know. Alright guys, it's a big day. My last CB2 candle holder, 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 whatever, has come in. I'm not going to set these up how I want them yet, but this is exciting. So there will be candles on there and that will be my cute little centerpiece, which is very exciting. I'm organizing tomorrow, so I'm just going to leave this box as is and unbox this for you guys tomorrow. So, stay tuned until later in this vlog and you guys will see everything be so organized and perfect. I just made myself the best snack ever, but I started eating before... I could vlog it. Um, I cut up mangoes. I have the coconut, so delicious yogurt. It's the best one ever. And then I put some cinnamon on. It's just so good. But now, it looked really cute when I first made it. Um, and I'm watching Brooke and Danielle's video of them reacting to old videos. Guys, I'm literally dying. This is like right when we all met. It's actually so freaking funny. 
Guys, I am so excited. So if you guys follow, we're not really strangers on Instagram. They, well, she came out with a card game that I've been wanting for so long. And I finally got it, so I'm literally so pumped. I'm gonna play this, have people play this every single time they come over. It's just like a bunch of questions and you ask. It's just so cute. You guys can see it here, but I am so excited. All right, guys. I just thought of the best merch idea ever. Like, it's so simple, but it's really funny, but it's also cute and people will still love it. I just like, oh my gosh, I'm literally so excited. I'm so excited. So I'm literally going to do that today, send it in because my merch people for my podcast are pretty quick. And honestly, I will come out with this like next week. If that's, if that's possible, I will be coming out with this as soon as possible. Literally as soon as, as soon as humanly possible, these will be out. Oh my gosh. I'm literally so excited. Wow. Okay. But I'm making myself download Photoshop because like there's, it's literally embarrassing if I have to ask a graphic designer to do this. So, oh my gosh, guys. I like can't get over this because I'm so excited now. All right, guys, I'm in a great mood now that I thought of this genius idea. So I'm just getting ready because I need to leave for dinner soon. I literally just downloaded Photoshop to my laptop. That's also something I just want to learn this year because I always hire designers for my merch and it would just be easier if I could do it, you know? I'm literally constantly out of breath in this house because I run up and down the stairs. Like, I'm literally a five-year-old. I'm for sure throwing my hair up in a bun, so I don't know why I lift all my buns downstairs. So, <sighs> Anyways, tonight I'm getting dinner with Julia Havens. She also has a YouTube channel. I will have a link down below. I'm sure oh, like pretty much all of you guys know who she is. She has amazing videos. I watch all of her vlogs. Actually, all of her videos, so I'm a big fan. We're going to HD Supply Co., which is like one of the most like popular restaurants in Dallas. It's really cool. They have this really awesome rooftop. The rooftop's really cool, but you can't like order off the full menu up there. But it's like literally the perfect like social place to go. So love that. I have to leave for the DMV at 5:30 a.m. tomorrow. So that's awesome. It's really fun. I did get Quentin to go with me though, so that makes it a lot better. I'm hoping to just be the first person in line and then just get it over with. You know what I mean? I cannot wait to self-tan tonight. When I get back, that's gonna be a really great time. My lips are chapped, my skin is very dull right now. This is really my least favorite look. I do the exact same makeup all the time. I really, really, really want to try out new products. I love them when I do that in LA because I always had PR stuff just laying around. But I really do want to try a bunch of new products. So comment down below, pause this video, comment down below in let me know what your favorite makeup product has been lately or skincare products, any of that. You know I'm all, I'm all about that. Wow, guys, I'm really just thriving. Now to my least favorite part of makeup, putting on mascara. What is your favorite least, or least favorite part of putting on makeup? My mascara is just so annoying. Like why do, you know what I mean? Just not a fan. This would have been a good time for me to try out my new Sephora products that I bought today, but I forgot because they're downstairs. So, we will be doing that tomorrow. Very desperately need lip product on, but I'm going to spray my perfume, even though I haven't changed yet. This is the Flower Bomb perfume. I got it very recently, and I've really been loving this, so I'll have it linked down below. But, I am still excited about this. But I'm gonna change, figure out what I wanna wear. There's just something about my hair like this when it does this little wave thing that I really don't love when it's natural. Like it would take me two seconds to fix it, but I just don't have it in me right now. Also, I really want hair clips because I would love to just like, how would I even do that? I don't even know if I could, could I do that if I were to like get a hair clip and, no. I literally couldn't do that. This is what my hair would look like. I'm just like not feeling my hair today. This is the last day I don't do it because I just don't love it and I prefer it when it's, you know, like loose waves. Second, third day. I don't really ever go third day, but anyways, um, I downloaded Photoshop. I've already done, I've pretty much finished the design because it's super simple, but it's just like so me. Like it's nothing revolutionary, but it's so me that it's like, why did I think of this sooner? You know what I mean? So, anyways, I'm actually learning Photoshop too, which is just something that needed to happen, seeing as how it's really ridiculous that I haven't already figured that out. Listening to Taylor Swift, 
gonna leave to get dinner in about 20 minutes. It just looks, it really honestly just looks worse now, but yeah, I'm really excited. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, okay. So, I'm going to finish this up and then head out to dinner, which is so great. All right, everyone, this is kind of my outfit tonight. My jeans have been wearing nonstop from Revolve. I cannot find them on the website, but their girlfriend did them. My black Freaky Will Boots, these are like two years old. I've been, you can't find them online. Um, my crossbody that I'm obsessed with, crew neck Maritia, and then just a big leather jacket. Just an easy um, little everyday look. So, like I said, we're going to HE Supply, which is very exciting. They have this carrot hummus that is so good. And like carrot hummus does not sound good, but it is so good. I literally cannot express it to you enough. Like I need to figure out how to make it myself. <sighs> I'm in the best mood. Can you guys tell? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm on Lower Greenville. It is seriously so cute. Um, we're going to H Supply. If you guys live in Dallas, it's like you know what it is. But up there is the rooftop. It's so windy, and I'm literally freezing. Oh, okay. Guys, I'm with Julia. We are at H Supply. Um, we got the fried rice bowls. I got chicken. She got shrimp. This is like one of the most popular things. Wow, this is a brilliant idea. It looks stunning. so good. Stunning. All right, guys. I just got back from dinner. I'm just like so hyper. Poor Julia. I was literally talking like 3,000 miles a minute. But here I am out of breath again because I just ran out the stairs. So my bags came in already from the order I made last night. If you guys are looking into any of this, I will have an entire Amazon shop page of equipment that I use for my podcast. But I'm really excited because this means that I can record my first intro on these tomorrow for this week's episode so the quality is going to be so much better all right guys i just self tan so i look a little bit crazy it's 8 30 i'm gonna just do some work on my computer i have to wake up at like 5 a.m tomorrow to go to the dmv so that's awful literally awful so i'll see you guys in the morning we will vlog the little dmv experience let you guys know i'm gonna definitely instagram story it just so i have something to do really awful i begged quentin to go with me so i'm picking him up at like so Good morning guys, it's 540. I have my file for the DMV full of everything that I could possibly need. I'm heading out. I'm gonna go pick up Q. He's going with me. Oh, gosh, I just pray that I'm in and out of there by 7:30 to 8:30, and I have no problems getting my new Texas ID, and it's just perfect. And that's it. Because if not, I'm literally gonna scream because I woke up at 5:10. So it's fine if you wake up at 5 for like a workout or something fun, not the DMV. Okay, guys, Better the Revenge by Taylor Swift just started playing, so it's better now. Um, anyways, is this here's my first here. Ride With Me video? This isn't a Ride With Me video, it's just part of the vlog. It's okay, you don't have to downplay it. Let's go. <laughs> so we're playing Taylor Swift first. Um, yeah, wow. Only Quentin would, like, be happy. Okay, I like, actually like waking up this early. Like, I feel great. I'm actually kind of kidding about the DMV. Like, yeah, it does sound awful, but, like, I'm going with Quentin, and I'm confident that he's going to make it a better experience. Um, oh, 100%. I, guys, it's me as I'm editing this. Um, I ended up literally spending the entire, like, hour and a half that we were outside consoling Quentin, and I was the one making it a good time because he's from Florida, and he can't deal with any weather. So he was just sitting there like so cold and so mad. Not at me, but like, yeah. It's just funny looking at that now. I just, you know when like you have those places that you just hate going and it gives you like literal anxiety thinking about going? That's how the DMV for me, as I'm sure it is for most Americans. She wanted me to take her license <laughs> no, photo. And I was like, kids, I literally can't do that. That's not what happened. She just that's, thinks that he's funny. I know um, my hair's long, but I don't, I'm, I've got a beard. It's just, uh, we don't look alike. Oh my God. Guys, the drive through that we randomly clicked on to go on the way to Starbucks is a drive through Okay, guys? That is the most beautiful thing I've seen all day. It's been a long day so far. I'm really excited. Wow! Q has now decided that he doesn't drink coffee anymore. So, because of that, I am very inconvenienced. I say, as you woke up at 5 a.m. to go to the DMV thing, to go to see this. Starbucks, can I get some Starbucks for today? Hi, yes. Egg white bites? Yeah. All right, give me one second. I'm gonna make sure I have both of those. They cannot be serious. They just open. Uh, hey. All right, and I am finding both. Thank God. Um, all right, so I got egg white bites and your bacon egg bites. What else for you? Can I have two orders of the classic oatmeal? This is gonna be like the most expensive drink of my life. 
Okay, I'm so sorry. Can I change it to a grande with three shots of espresso? I feel bad. But like I would literally and in a grande cup. Yes. Alright, and what else for you? That's it. Alright, so the two oatmeal, the two orders of egg bites, and your drink total is twenty oh eight. Come on up. Perfect, thank you so much. Sorry about yeah. that. I can't show my face here ever again. Wow. It's kind of cold. Oh my gosh, we have to wait outside, by the way, for an hour. You have to stand outside? <laughs> yeah, we have to wait in line for an hour. Wow. If there's no line, we'll just wait until the line forms. I think. Oh man, look at the time. <laughs> the battery's dead, you know? Thank you. Oh, I got a zipper on my back. I know. I saw it. Well, you didn't see it today. It was super fast, right? Yeah, it took two seconds. Literally, it was eleven dollars. So much easier now. You would be shocked by how difficult it is to not have a zipper pull on this, and it's actually kind of painful. You know what song I have stuck in my head? This is what I have stuck in my head at six twelve a.m. This is not the one I was thinking. Of. Oh, I'm, thank you. Wait. Oh, wait. 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 Thank you. Here we go, guys. But this is not how I remember the song, Q. This is like a Nashville twist to guys. We are here 620. There's at least like 10 people already standing outside in line. And it is 40 degrees out. I might I got a nice coffee. So that's me. Cheers, pray for us. It's very cold. It like really, really sucks. It's 39 degrees out. So 41, two degrees higher. <laughs> what? Since I just want to take this time to just remind you how much I love you, and most importantly, you love me. Because it's gonna all work out. We're gonna have so much fun. Come on, what happened to Starbucks party? It's true. It's the third shot of espresso that really ruins the drink. Guys, don't you think Quentin's just so handsome? Look at how handsome you are. <laughs> no, but I seriously am very happy that you came with me. Just wanted to give you a hug. I Car debated, in front of us I debated hitting her with the text saying I couldn't come. Did you seriously? I, yeah, I only got four hours of sleep, so I was like. But he made me wait for him for like 20 minutes yesterday, so you probably weren't gonna push after that, right? That's what it was. That's the only reason that you came. Uh, maybe. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, we're gonna go. Okay. Oh, hey, we can go sit on the bench at our front of line. I mean, there's literally like more people outside, so this is so bad. Guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so after all of that, I got all the way through, took my photo, had all my docs. Everything was everything was set. I'm going to have to take the driving test, though, which is so annoying. Um, <sighs> there's some sort of thing in California that like a parking ticket that I haven't paid, but like I never, like, sometimes they'll mail them to you, and I guess they mailed it to my house and I never got it, so I didn't get it on my car. So it's 9 a.m., and I'm leaving without a license. I love you. I'm so grateful for you. This is just really awful. But, like, the thing is, I would have had to have gone through that entire experience to even know that that happened. So, um, yeah. She's really great, guys. I'm just surprised I'm not, like crying right now <laughs> i'm just so like <sighs> all right guys it's 11 i've just been i recorded my podcast intro with my new equipment for the first time so i was kind of setting this stuff up i don't have to like set up the other two that's just for when i record with more people i had one phone call and then i'm about to right now i'm taking quentin to work and then after that i have to call to figure out what's going on in california but the offices didn't open until like six minutes ago so that is what i'm gonna be dealing with today um just love being an adult you know okay so i'm currently number 26 on the call list or whatever like oh my gosh this has really just been a time guys there's literally always something like last week i ran over a pothole and i got a flat tire this week, this whole thing. Like, you know what? Is, what's it gonna be next week? I decided I'm gonna de-stress by organizing my bathroom. So, we're gonna go do that. All right, guys, we're in my unfurnished bedroom, but 
Um, the first thing I have, this is, I hate when there's stickers on things because I can never get them off perfectly. Let's see. Nope, I'm not to do that later. But I got a little tea container so I can put all my tea packets in there. That goes downstairs. This is what I got for my bathroom. So this will go under the sink and I can kind of just maneuver it to whichever way I want it to go. Coco just like really wants to be in the shot. This is going to be cool. It's going to be for above my sink, but... I, can't, I actually don't know where I think I'm going to put that. Gosh, God forbid you don't have so much attention. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to start with this. There's also one of these containers in here. I'm going to see how I want to organize it. My bathroom is a mess right now because there's literally no organization in the slightest. All right, guys. So, um, I update on the calls. Literally, <laughs> I spent the past three hours. They turned to me between two numbers that are literally robots. So, that is my update, um, but I am now starting to organize my bathroom, so this is just like so cramped, like this is so unorganized, I just cleaned off the top, so that tall thing will go right here and I'll have, you know, things set up here, but like this is so unorganized because I have no way to organize it, so I just have stuff sitting there, and then also in here, this is so unorganized because I just have stuff sitting here, also like, well, the one that's a box for hangers that needs to be go away, and then I got this, but it doesn't fit in my bathroom. I got it off Amazon, but I think I'm just going to set it on the side there. So, we will see. All right, guys, so it's semi-organized. I don't exactly, like, know where I want everything to go, so just for the time being, I'm going to keep it like this. I just have random stuff, so in here I have some mist, some sheet masks, some more hair stuff, and just, like, setting spray, and then a bunch of scrunchies. Toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff that I use a lot, skincare, um, more so like face masks, just things like that. This stuff, guys, is literally the best thing to ever exist. The Virgin Marula Luxury Oil from Drunk Elephant. Um, I have self-tanners right there, my brush, little set right here. This is just kind of random. These are products I haven't unboxed, um, things that I use a lot. Not like my PR box, but just like things that I just want on hand because I use them all the time. And then you open up here, I have towels, then I have too many hair tools to like fully work in them. Okay, I ran out of storage and I don't know when it stopped recording, but all my hair tools are there. There's not enough to actually store all of them, but they're, it's not as messy as it actually looks. I have extra shaving cream, toothpaste, toothbrushes back there, trash bags, um, toilet paper, paper towels, towels, and then my multi-surface cleaner. This needs to be like set up, but these are just like kind of my everyday products and I'm gonna keep there. I also have like a little makeup thing coming, so I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Like this stuff hasn't really, I haven't really figured this one out yet, but yeah, I think I'm gonna take like a nice bath with my, a nice bath with my jets on. Also, my new Hydro Flask came in, which is so exciting. I got a white one, which I really wanted anyway, so. It's okay, I guess, that I left the Corp the one at Corbauer, but yeah, I'll have these linked down below. It is so worth it. I just made some pasta. This is one of my just go-to meals, brown rice pasta. Organic tomato sauce, um, and then I just boiled and sauteed broccoli and kale. Seasoned it. It's really good. Sorry for the dishwasher making noise, but to be honest with you guys, today I'm just like so anxious. I haven't been this anxious in a long time and like I'm having a great time in life like I don't know I think if you have anxiety you like understand what I'm saying like sometimes it just comes and then you're like there's just I don't know like a lot of the times I know how to cope with it and it'll get a lot better and it's like nothing like it used to be but then some days it's just like okay like this is just like a rough day I need to just kind of like chill for a second and I don't know what it is like I don't really know what it was necessarily like the DMV thing is like really it's just like frustrating because there's like not much I can do because no one I cannot get a hold of anyone for the life of me and every single thing online like I spent hours researching says like you cannot get a hold of them and it's just like the biggest pain ever but yeah I don't know I just want to be honest because like I am vlogging today and I'm just like so anxious I don't know but I cooked some lunch because normally cooking like makes me feel a lot better and I just like feel so weird. I don't know. The good thing is I got most of the stuff done that I really needed to get done today. It was a lot slower of a day. But um, I think I might just like work on some homework since I'm just going to lay around and like watch Nashville or something. And call it a day. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog of the last few days. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, sorry for the last few clips. I hate when I vlog when I'm anxious. Um, the whole like California DMV stuff is just so confusing. But 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog still. Um, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.